Very exciting. Holy cow, dude. We're going to Kitty Hawk. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go flying. Boom. All right, here with Eric Farewell. So excited, guys. Last stop. The last fuel stop, so we're uh, just about 30-ish miles outside of Kitty Hawk, Kill Devil Hills. Kill Devil Hill. So we're gonna go to the, I just, it just wells up inside. <laughs> I have never been to First Flight. Um, that's kind of the nickname they gave the airport. It's and First neither Flight have airport. I. You like, never I've, have. I've been wanting to go my whole life. We planned to go on this trip and then our bus broke down and we had to divert and it was like, well, I guess we'll find, find it another year. And then Corey shows up and I'm like, hey, you want to fly to Kitty Hawk? He's like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Always yes. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go. Let's go fly to Kitty Hawk. No time like the present. Let's Kitty do Hawk. It. <laughs> it's going to be a fun adventure. It's like a two hour flight down and we got to figure out how to put paramotors on in this thing the somewhere. Cub, on the cub, by all means necessary. Let's do this. We're going flying. <laughs> we could pop the cage off and test some stuff if you want, or we can just do that on the day of. Yeah. We're a little closer once we know. Um, I mean, it is pretty small. I'm almost thinking if we could break it down enough, we might just be able to get two in the fuselage. Just in let's the take a look. Because I mean that engine's not that big. No. And I mean it's a lot of assembly to put it all back together there, but if we're there all day, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's ten minutes. So you know? so the the thing there is behind the seat, I've got a spot here. Right. And then it, I guess the biggest issue is we, we could probably get the there. engines in, but then the wings are gonna be pretty big too. The wings we could fold, we could pack them down real small. Really? So we could probably get two in here, because look how big my extended baggage is. Oh, dude, yeah, we can definitely fit two in here. So you can put one right behind this seat and another one in the extended baggage. This one we can put up at an angle like this mm -hmm. and slide the other one back. And so the only thing is, is you probably won't get much through that door. So you have to, you got to kind of consider you're getting through these go, bars. I don't know if we'll go through that bar. Yeah, that's the big thing. Here you go. So there's two bars going down to meet that. Yeah, I don't know if this, I don't think it'll fit through there. We could easily fit one. Yeah. So we can fit one for sure. And we can just share. That would probably be the easiest, honestly, and the safest, because then we're not monkeying around for a couple of days trying to mount them. And then have to Let's just fly. do that. Yeah. Let's, let's just bring one butt fan, take turns, and I'll film you when you're in the air. Deal. All right. Got the uh, paramotor stuffed into the back, behind the back seat of the carbon cub. Fits in really good. Little, uh, Little paramotor action at Kill Devil Hill later today. Just gotta go grab the wing and stick that in the back. Good to go. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, there's no TFRs or anything up right now. I think maybe I'll just climb up and go right over Norfolk. That seems like a smart move. That really is cool. I don't think I've ever seen a naval yard that packed full of heavy shiz to blow big holes in things. All those freaking aircraft carriers, that's amazing. That's crazy. Let in, buddy. Let's see you dock it. I almost want to slow down so I can watch. <laughs> I want to see his docking skills. Like, you, know, you judge your buddy's boat. I think this guy's got it. What do you think? I think he's got it. That is cool, man. I love this country. But we could glide. If we lost an engine right now, we'd glide to that Air Force Base. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I probably wouldn't choose to do that. Very exciting. Holy cow, dude. We're going to Kitty Hawk. I know. <laughs> oh, man. It just feels like... Oh. It's like it's where it all began. It's where... It, our dreams of flight were finally made a reality, and it just feels surreal. It really does.
makes you wonder like 117 years ago what this all looked like. I mean, this is all beach homes and, you know, big old Walmarts and... It sure didn't look like this, you no, know that. For sure, it sure is pretty. All right, uh, so we're looking for the banner tow. I'm not sure, I don't have him on ADSB and he hasn't made a call in a little while, but I'm, su I'm assuming he's gonna be low level and in front of these people on the beach. Oh, I'm looking at this ocean water. I just kind of, it just kind of hits me everywhere I've been in my airplane. Dude, we were talking about this earlier. If you started thinking about just this trip, not counting all your old trips to the Bahamas and everywhere else, but you've been everywhere in this airplane this year. Right? I mean, the whole northeast up into New York, I've done, oh, yeah, I mean, and now I'm flying down the coastline. Here's Kitty Hawk off to our right. I have Kill Devil Hill and First Flight Airport in sight. Do you see it? Yep, I got it in sight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has I'm been, stoked. This is a dream, man. And the I've, best part is we've got a butt fan in the back that hopefully we get to fly. Right? Oh my gosh. Can you uh, imagine? I'm so excited, man. All right, I'm going to keep pulling the power back a little bit, looking for traffic. I'm going to go ahead and make a radio call. First flight area traffic, Black and Orange Super Cubs about four miles to the north, along the beach, descending out of 1,200. We're going to circle the monument on the right, then enter right traffic for first flight. Holy cow, this is exciting, dude. There's a lot of people on the beach, man. I know. Look how, this is amazing. Like, I, I have, like, almost like flying into Oshkosh for the first time. Yeah. We're si like, I am looking right now at the actual hill where they did those three flights in that first day. Yeah. It, looks, it was three flights, right? I, I don't remember. I, I will say this, though. It looks smaller than I imagined it. Somehow in my head. I know when we get down there, we're hiking up it. We're like, okay, that was a much bigger hill than it looked like. But right, right. now, it's like, it's just, it's enchantingly itty-bitty. All right, so I'm just going to circle it on the right here. You want to open the window? Yeah, let me slow it down here. That, that great idea. Yeah, yeah, let's get a good shot. For the YouTube views. Yeah, let me trim it out for, for slow. That's how the Cubs like to fly anyway, right? There's 70, we can open the window. I got back one. Yeah, you might want to fix your little GoPro there. I knocked it down for All you. Oh, good. Look at this, now we can just cruise at 60 miles an hour. There it is, Kill Devil Hills. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. They've done such a good job with the orientation. That's so cool. Right? First flight traffic, Black Horn Super Cubs orbiting the monument currently, and uh, then we'll make right traffic for runway three in our second orbit. Dude. <laughs> Dude, we're here. We're here! <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> five me, bro. Five, brother man. <laughs> this what a is five. so amazing. And look, it says first flight on the ta on the uh, the ramp. The Heck yeah, look at that. That's oh, real life, man. I cannot wait traffic, to walk up that hill. Research pier, southbound, Oceanside, 1,500 feet beach traffic. That's amazing. Oh, man. You know, I could land on any one of these little grass strips right on the right in front of the parking lot. Any one of them would be super cake in this airplane. <laughs> I kind of wish we could. I, I almost, gosh, what would it take to get permission to do that? Uh, we can go ask. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm a bush plane pilot. I can do this. Can, can you let me? <laughs> It was like us trying to fly through the St. Louis Arch uh, during the air show. Yeah. And that was the whole thing. They're like, yeah, you can fly through the arch because you guys, you know, you're paramotors. And then they, they pulled it from us at the last minute when they realized that we had gasoline on board. And I'm like, I'm building a freaking electric paramotor so I can fly through the arch. Right. They're like, you can fly through it if you have an electric. I'm like, done. Wow. <laughs> but that, that is just special, man. Spectacular. Look at that. Right through your struts. Oh, thank you for filming from the back seat, bro. Absolutely, my friend. I sure appreciate it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love the little hiking trails and how they're just so beautifully crafted. I just love how many people are here. Yeah. Look at this. you got people from all over the world coming to, to celebrate this. Dude, we should land and go go walk. Let's, let's do go, it. Let's go walk where Wilbur and Orville walked. I'm in. I'm always oh, in. Let's do it. I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and reduce speed. We'll, let, we'll make right close traffic runway three right there, and we'll, we'll make that first taxiway. I like it. <laughs> very first one, the very first one or the second one? No, that very, right, the, the tarmac right there. <laughs> we'll make that. We got this. I have faith in you. We'll see.
see. I don't know. We'll see. Look at this little right flyer right here. Did you see that? Right oh, by the parking look lot? at that. Oh my gosh, this is cool. I'm digging it. All right, I'm going to deploy the flaps. First flight traffic, Blackburn Super Cubs, right close space, runway three. Zoom. Flaps are coming down. Setting up for a nice, easy landing. Man, this air is so thick. I'm so not used to it. It's, man, I, I'm actually anxious about getting out west and flying with you out there because it's. I'm so used to this. Like this is right. This is normalcy. First flight traffic, black and orange cub is short final runway three. We'll just get in, do a nice little short landing. Oh, we're a little high, so we're gonna. What's your approach speed? Right now I'm doing 50. It's a little faster. We are currently five miles to the north. We're at 1,500 feet. We're uh, overhead the uh, ocean and uh, transition south along the beach line. We'll be running clear. Yeah, so we're doing about 40 now, but 60 over the ground. It's really weird conditions. But we'll still make that taxiway. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Gotta love good breaks. <laughs> right? That's awesome. How cool is this? I know, I'm There's so excited to see this. Hill Hill off your left, brother. Oh, I see it, I know. <laughs> oh, I love it. This That's is so crazy. exciting. Uh, they even have tie downs. This is like first class. First class. I think I'll take this one. Oh wait, they're all kind of weird ones. I'll take this one with the ropes already on it. I like ropes. Gets us closer too. You got a flying cowboy fan here. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Awesome. Must have seen my Instagrams. Yeah. We're here. We made it. It's the real deal. I'm stoked about this, man. I'm so jazzed. We just landed. Dude, this is the most surreal experience. Okay, we gotta get. The ghost has had enough exposure. Yeah, we know what that looks like. Look, 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 look up look, here. Look. We're here, bro. This. You fly in, and as the guy over here just said, like, this is the first airport in the world. This is the first runway ever made. This is like a religious experience. Like this is, <laughs> I'm this is out. visceral. I'm so excited. Let's go check it out, you guys. All right, I'm here with Eric <laughs> Russ. He's, uh, we've been chatting for a couple years now. At least a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. so uh, how cool is it that you can fly across the entire country and still <laughs> meet awesome people? Thanks, so, man, I appreciate it. I've been it. Uh, wanting to see you guys for a while. Awesome. I'm a big fan. As you yep. can tell. Look at that. And I'm a big fan. So, uh, <laughs> Kill Devil Hills. Yeah. I got to go check it out. But uh, thanks for coming and saying hello. Oh, definitely. You know how many books I've read about this since I was this big? This spot. It's bigger than just flight. It's the conquest of something greater than ourselves, you know? It's special. Hmm. <laughs> That's where they launched, guys. We're walking over the area they flew over. This is where they landed, probably the first one, because the first one was only like <laughs> 200 feet. Probably, right. This is about right. This is about, this is where it happened. I'm freaking out. 117 years later. The rock you see behind me, that was where they took off. And the rock you see behind me now, that was where they landed. <laughs> what do you think, Corey? I think that it's amazing, you know, gosh, bicycle makers. It just goes to show you anybody can innovate. Not only innovate, but anyone can push themselves further than they think they can to accomplish something superhuman. Like when you choose that, that decision, so well said. that like I, I refuse to just be normal. I refuse to, to accept that we can't fly, right? Dude, These guys. I'm getting, I just got chills. We are walking. <laughs> Look at this. We are walking where, where giants walked. It is oh, so surreal. Check this out. First flight, 12 seconds, 120 feet, December 17th, 1903, pilot Orville. Second flight, about 12 seconds, 175 feet right here, 50 feet further on. Third flight, 15 seconds, 200 feet. It's just, it's remarkable, man. And then the last one has got to be their long flight. We got to, we got to go all the way down there and check it out. 
This is a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah. You are going to fly your paramotor from the airport over the monument, keeping everything legal. Keep it legal. It's a little windy. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It is. There's a good strong breeze, but there is a little Venturi channel where a, a skilled paramotor aviator could do it. There's a spot down here at the end that looks really good. Okay. So we'll, we'll see. We'll taxi down and check it out. Play it by ear. And that is how you store a paramotor in a carbon cup. Love it. We are gonna go flying. It's on. Kill the hills. I'm so excited, guys. This is so cool. What's that? You're all set. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. We got the butt fan master, Eric Farewell, Ghost, and Kill Devil Hill, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Here we go. Oh man. We're doing it. This is living. Oh my gosh. He's flying over where first flight occurred. Here he comes in for a landing. We did it. <laughs> Butt fans and bush planes, baby! Dude, <laughs> I just flew down the exact flight path as the Wright Brothers' first four flights. Oh my God. It can't get better than this. No. It can't get better than this. But it still does somehow. It just keeps getting better. Oh, man, this wow. is so much fun. That was 
remarkable. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Eric Farewell, the butt fan aviator. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us on our channel as well. We're gonna be doing lots of fun, fun stuff with Corey over the summer. He doesn't even know it yet. That's right. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, so click on this link right below to check out his latest video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. A little bit more. Look at that, feel that, that's fun. That's bumping. There we go, let's get above it now. There's first flight, look at that. Oh yeah, well, did I hand you that good camera? I got it, yeah. Okay, good. All right, go I'm ahead. more stable with this and bumpy air though. Right. It's good. But a cool spot. <laughs>